Okay, today we are going to talk about two topics that are very important to growing hydroponic plant in small spaces, especially like these over here, the DIY systems. So the topics are one, managing algae growth, and two, refilling in a non-circulating system like this over here. So first, we're going to talk about the algae uh, problem. So algae is a big issue in hydroponic, especially if you have containers that are see-through. So algae grow when there is anything that allows light to penetrate into the nutrients. So let me show you uh, an example. Okay, so here, as you can see, the bottle is clear and that is a huge problem. You see how lights can penetrate easily and then algae will grow rampant as soon as you add nutrients. And so your plants are going to grow, but then also algae is going to grow. So anytime you have containers like this, the light hit the top. It penetrates through the water bottle and there, there's nutrient water which is rich and algae is a huge problem you see and so when algae grow what happens is it will suffocate your plant it compete for all of the resources especially oxygen so when the plant is lacking oxygen due to these huge amount of algae your plant is going to suffer it was going to have signs like this here, you see? Unhealthy growth, you get um, these spots here. And these spots basically means your plant is having root problem. It's not getting the oxygen it needs. It's being suffocated, so it can't take up the nutrients it needs to feed the plants. And so you're gonna get yellow leaves, which will fall off, spot, spotty leaves, which will become yellow leaf, and will fall off and the plant will become very very unhealthy and it could possibly die so here i have this plant here but it's just a temporary place i'm going to take this outside and transplant that into soil and if i decide to grow a plant permanently in here then i would take precautions you see this container here is as dark as i can get it the darker the better because it, it will block lights from getting through and when lights cannot penetrate then algae cannot grow it needs lights to grow and so you can see here i have a styrofoam because light coming from the top will hit the lid here and even if the lid is as dark as you can get it there's still a bit of light that can penetrate so let me give you an example so i'll open this up You see, you can still see lights getting through through those holes right there. You see that? And the holes will allow lights to get into the nutrients. And as soon as the, the nutrients get light, it is very um, possible that the algae will grow. And for this contain here, I'm very careful to not allow that to happen. So I put styrofoam at the top. I paint. I painted the container as dark as I can get it and that does help quite a bit and if there is algae growth after a while you can you know you can clean it out you can put um, a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in there not too much just a little bit and that will help combat the algae from growing you see how the roots are nice and white and clean there's no algae growth and that's why the plant is nice and healthy as opposed to this one here and those over there you see very unhealthy because there's lots of algae growth but again those are temporary look, uh, containers and I'm not putting it there for forever um, so here is an example of just plain water you see plain water without nutrients 
It will cause algae to grow, but not as fast because there's no nutrients in here for the algae to feed off of. And so it does take a long time for plain water to get algae in there. But as soon as you drop some nutrients in here, you're going to notice the algae will grow just like this here. And this is bad. You see how green that is? It should be nice and clear. You see the bottom right? It's, it's collected right there. So again, try to prevent algae from growing and then your plant would be very healthy. Okay, so on to the next topic. The next topic is managing your water level in a cracky setup or non-circulating setup. And this is a challenge when you're growing fruiting plants like peppers and tomato inside a non-circulating container or method. And the reason for that is um, roots will grow and they will divide up into two different types of root systems. So that you have your air roots, which will have uh, hairs on them. You see at the top, you see, those are hair. Um, those are for taking in oxygen and stuff like that. And then your water root, which is straight and it goes all the way into the nutrient water. And that's what pull in and feed the plant. So the air root will help feed the plant's air and you see those hairs, okay? And so eventually, if you grow this and the plants get bigger, it'll start drinking and the nutrient level will drop. And when, when that happens, more air roots will spread as the water level drops. And then when that happens, you cannot refill over the air roots so you see where my level is right there see that's the level and so if i leave it there for another week it'll probably drop an inch or two and then those n roots near the water will start to become air roots and so if i refill above the air roots the plant could possibly drown and so when you refill make sure where that level is keep it constant right there and so you have to manage it by keeping it uh, at that level and not allow the the water to drop too much because once it drops the air root will grow and you can't refill over the air roots or else the plant will suffocate a little and if you cover the plants all the way to the top where the net cup is it's going to die because there's nothing else that's going to take in air and so that's the thing with non-circulating method. When you refill, you always refill to the level that you see at the current time that you are going to refill it. So no more than above that line, you see? So anything, anything you do above that line, it's gonna suffocate and drown the plant and it will die. So uh, when you grow fruiting plants in this type of setup, it is very important to have a big containers that way it takes longer for the the water to drop anyway i hope that helped thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe